Welcome back to my channel everyone. So I'm currently in my workshop, doing a bit of work to the bike, and I thought now would be a good time to make this video, so it will hopefully help anyone that's watching this who's thinking about buying some new tires, or has even had some new tires fitted to their car, motorbike, or van, um, or any sort of road legal vehicle. Now, what happened to me was, and I'm very surprised by this, I couldn't believe it until it actually happened, is I bought a set of new tyres for my bike, my little Yamaha retro moped type thing, and putting some knobbly tyres on it. Now, the tyres I bought are road legal, they're e approved, and I took delivery of them. I tried fitting them myself, but I was like, do you know what, this ain't gonna happen because they're pretty thick. So I was like, instead of me scratching all my rims up, making a mess, let's go to a motorcycle garage and get them fitted there. Anyway, I took them in, the guy loads them onto his machine. He said, yeah, we can fit them, no problem. And he's very thorough, he looked over the tire. He said, uh, he said, where'd you get these from? <laughs> I told him, I said, I've got them online. And he said, uh, he said, what, brand new? I said, yeah, 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 I've paid for brand new tires. And he said, no, they're not brand new, he said, Look at the dates. He said one's 2007 and the other one is 2013. So essentially, I bought new old tires. And I was like, how on earth has this happened? So I was baffled, literally, I thought he was winding me up because I have a bit of a laugh for the guys in there. And I thought, because I'm a big wind up merchant as well, I thought these two are winding me up. And he said, no, 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 come over to my desk. And he's shown me on Google, he went and typed in the brand of the tire uh, the manufacturer Maxis and typed in their date stamp and then on the tire itself I'm going to show you now it has a date stamp here it says 4807 now if you're like me you'll be none the wiser what that means unless you're really really clued up and you know everything um, I had no clue I mean I've done a lot of work to different cars bikes and vans as a hobby but tires aren't my speciality i haven't really got a clue what i'm looking for when i look at the side of a tire um apart from the actual numbers because it sort of means how big the tire is and whatnot but this little number here uh it says 4807 which means 48th week of 2007 so this tire is 14 years old and would you believe it's still got the setter frame over the Maxis label. Crazy, right? So that's been sat in a warehouse for 14 years. This tire as well, uh, let me spin it around. I think this one's a little bit different because it's a little bit newer. Um, it says 3013, which means 30th week of 2013. And like you can see on the tire itself, it is very hard. And I did think that when I got them, I thought, oh, these seem a bit hard and a bit dusty and God knows what else. So I look at them. Um, so I was completely taken by surprise. I was just like, no, nah, like, I can't believe it. Like, how has this happened? So do you know what? Human error, things I understand do happen, but the guys should have run their eyes over these just to double check that they're not knocking out old stock. Like most of these big companies, they're a reputable company as well. Um, I'm not gonna name and shame. One, it's not me, because I think, if I'm naming shame, I know like human error and things like that happen, we all make mistakes, so I've just given the benefit of the doubt. I'm hoping that when I contact them, I will get them changed over. I still ain't done that yet, but we're gonna get them sorted out, so it's not a problem. But the problem is, apparently, there's no law to, that states how old a tire can be used on a vehicle. So you could potentially buy a 10, 15 year old tires apparently for motorbikes or cars, uh, domestic vehicles on the road. However, if it's a commercial vehicle, the tire is not allowed to be on the road if it's older than 10 years. So by law, a commercial vehicle cannot have um, tires that are 10 years old, like older than 10 years. So yeah, uh, completely took me by surprise. Now the problem with this is, if I was to fit these to my bike, uh, I think this is really dangerous, especially on a motorcycle. And let's be honest, them tyres, I mean, I know I'm not going to be going fast. They're big, thick knobblies. They are road legal, believe it or not, because they're ear approved. But if I was to suffer a blowout uh, because the tyre's perished or it's too hard or it's lost grip, and then I found that out after, I'd be absolutely furious. Do you know what I mean? Um, although there's not really anything I probably could have done because the tyre was still new because it hasn't been used. But essentially, that tyre should only be 
one year to two years maximum um, if you're gonna be buying them as brand new. So just bear that in mind. If you're buying brand new tires, whether it's from a garage, uh, a dealer or whatever, just double check the manufacturer's date on it. If you're not sure the date stamp, go onto Google, type in the manufacturer of your tire, and just double check for your own peace of mind. Because you know, if a tire, you know, if a tire is like four or five years old, probably not so bad. But I wouldn't want to be paying brand new money for them. Do you see what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, if you're riding around or driving around with 10, 15 year old tires, which you thought were brand new, I, I think that's. To me, I think that's just like, yeah, it's not right, is it? So uh, I thought I'd put this out there, spread a bit of awareness. Um, and apart from that, the next thing I'll probably do with these is throw them in the bin. Um, if I return them to them, they'll probably sell them on. <laughs> and we don't want that, do we? So yeah, hope you found this video useful. Um, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. Uh, let me know if you've had any experience with this yourself. Like if you've bought a set of tires and then you've suddenly realized, hang on a minute, these are old. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, it's probably just human error. They've just been sat there. They're not the most common tire you would ever see on the road either. So part of me was like, were these tires um, never bought and they've just got old and yeah, well clearly, but I mean, they've not got high demand. So the turnover of stock isn't that high. So I could just be unlucky, but I wanted to put this information out there because I think it could help a lot of people. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.